Hello Scorpio, I'm hoping everyone is doing well. This is your weekly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. Uh, it's going to be for 16 through the 22nd next week. Let's see what the energies are like. Um, when I was pre-shuffling, the Seven of Cups was coming in and the Nine of Pentacles. All about both of these have Venus in common. Uh, love for some of you, resources, eighth house, shared resources, intimacy. If there's, you know, going to be commitment here between last, longing, fulfillment, a family with the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. So let's see, what is important for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars for 16th through the 22nd? One more. The fives here, five of wands and five of swords. It's like someone feels like they have to go through this crisis or tension. I don't know if there's disagreement, tension here. Let's see. Okay, a lot of burden. Someone feels like I'm going to carry this till the end. And you guys get the ten of uh, wands a lot as well. Um, this is a determination that I'm almost there. I'm done. Um... There's been a lot of hard work or you have to keep this optimistic situation going on. Wow, the death card. Yeah, it feels like something almost there at the finish line um, ending here. Let's see. Okay, so we're starting strong. Because I'm going to clarify, I'm going to go quickly the first time here. And then um, on the second uh, time that I clarify, we'll go a little bit deeper. But we know that when the lovers is coming in, or this is a very important choice for some of you, there's this push and pull, there's this strong, irresistible connection. Okay. The Six of Pentacles is challenging, and there's, I don't even think it's a challenging because it's six and six is part of the lovers, but feels like something here needs to be reciprocated, give and take between the emotional and the material. So let's see here, but it, it's at the root of this reading, why this is happening is the King of Pentacles. Now this might be you, this might be your person, we will see who this King of Pentacles is. It might be someone that when it comes to love and when it comes to money, feels like they have to make a decision. The chariot coming in here in the recent past, or there's been some type of movement or someone felt like they needed here to kind of set a, a certain say, um, sense of direction i feel like always when the chariot is coming in there needs to be someone that is stirring um into a particular direction especially if there's obstacles challenges here it's like uh there needs to be this bravery this courage kind of energy all right you see i i told you the seven of cups uh that was coming in with the chariot seven and seven that's the thing when these are coming in by the way moon in taurus venus in uh scorpio here what needs to be reciprocated? Um, I don't know if you, in your mind, on this person's mind here that is coming towards you, it's just kind of delving into these emotions and kind of, it's like, I'm just going to go with it and see where it's going to lead me. Someone feels very strong fantasizing here for some of you or feels overwhelmed emotionally. There's even infatuation for some of you here with this. All right, this card can, kept coming in. Now, I, I don't know if this is a question of uh, is this exclusive or not. The Nine of Pentacles coming in, it, it's nice for most of you here. It's going to be that someone that feels fulfilled, um, is surrounded by abundance here. But for others, the Nine of Pentacles is questioning here if this is right when it comes to this connection. Usually is the single, is the independent person, no attachments here. Or is there just someone that feels like, again, what will I be getting in a way? What will fulfill me? It might be you. It might be that um, this is the starting journey between you and this person. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a question of commitment, uh, vows, promises in a very, very, very strong connection, guys. Or finally, some of you are going to decide that this is what fulfills you and you want to explore it. But the Hierophant wants loyalty. Remember the fives. I don't know. It's a question um, that someone wants to come here towards you or you towards this person. But um, it might be an issue of commitment here. 
traditional values um, or marriage. Yeah, external, someone feels heartbroken. They may be looking at you uh, this way or again, they're going through some separation, some type of heartbreak. The hanging man in the hopes and fears. Again, it's if I'm going to see the lovers and the hanging man together, I know that someone really wants this connection, wants to go towards this connection, but feel like they have to surrender to it or wait. There's a sacrificial kind of a thing here. Very Neptunian as well. Idealistic. Sacrificing for love. I'm surrendering here. It's again when it comes to the hanging man, will stay there forever until the moment again that the kind of disconnection is happening. I really like that you have uh, two pentacles that are coming in as the immediate future and the best possible outcome because it feels like whatever is this fulfillment independence is opening a door here. There's going to be a chance of you and this person, a real chance prosperity here as well that is going to lead to commitment for some of you it may be with the king of pentacles if this is you you finally feel like this is my chance i'm going to go towards it but i really like it because again the situation is is kind of telling you you and this person what can you both here kind of reciprocate mutually bring together and it is kind of um coming with that ace of pentacles how about we start with this, um, you know, kind of opportunity. Something is blossoming, something is starting, and it's not just in the Seven of Cups, in the emotions here, or kind of in the fantasy. It's real. The seed has been planted, the starting point here of something real. And it's because someone feels fulfilled, or that Nine of Pentacles, I have to clarify, because again, the, the, um, the clarifications are going to give a little bit more meaning here. But it seems like something that you and this person have been going back and forth or for some of you when it comes to love, when it comes here to your own, uh, how you look at marriage, your own independence here. But for most of you, I feel like it is about a person. And the juggling here with the death card, change is coming. How are you dealing with this change? You're looking good though, guys. Independent, well off. There's a... Overcoming the heartbreak here. Maybe, again, whatever is this separation or heartbreak is giving an opportunity here um, for both of you to talk about it. Yeah, I feel like there's a spark. There's a new beginning between you and someone else. What is the lovers, please? One more. Okay, Mars in Scorpio. It feels like the revival here of something from the past. Someone that is coming with regrets or wants to make amends or is looking again at this situation. Remember the fives are part of the Hierophant. How we deal with all these strifes or all these changes, all these obstacles. Someone that still is keeping faith. So it is a revival of a connection here. Or someone that still is holding that torch has not moved on. What is uh, the Six of Pentacles, please? The Page of Pentacles. I feel like, again, there's uh, there's such a fear, by the way, of someone getting hurt or being one-sided or too late. I really feel like there's this uh, offer here, especially because the Ace of Pentacles is the best possible outcome. It's like someone here wants to exchange something serious. It can be that you guys started as friends. It can be that you work with this person or you want when it comes to your heart versus mind, you have something here, again, that is tangible. This has been someone that has been holding at this opportunity to give. And this will make amends, will start something here. Um, as reciprocated that maybe again has been some painful ending serious situations so the obstacles is like or again what's helping is that someone here wants to give um feels like has the means to to reciprocate something regarding a connection that has before been with some type of regret it can be a message it can be a gift it can be a token it can be anything um that kind of uh makes this kind of energy here with the lovers be mutual and reciprocated all right so let's see here what is the king of pentacles
the king of pentacles is coming with the queen of wands and the judgment so again i keep going to this revival or a second chance or renewal or something that has changed here uh, you can be the queen of wands they can be uh the queen of wands again you will know here but it's two people that feels like they have gone through a, a clean slate some type of um, new beginnings here the judgment comes in as someone that has been praying for a second chance or renewal here or a clean slate that's that's what it is at the heart of this reading i one person here is really um infatuated the attraction is mutual but i feel like someone here still is kind of in this consumed by all these feelings and emotions and it's questioning all those because the pentacles coming in is like someone i want something real and i feel like it's this king of pentacles which usually is very practical yeah someone that has been hanging on here for some time what is uh the chariot please what is the chariot one more you see yeah I, guys it seems like it is about a connection <laughs> it is about love someone um that has been feeling stuck because of other people other situation now feels like they have to break through whatever has been this entrapment and go towards love i don't know if it's a distance is other people interferences but I feel like recently there's been this determination to overcome whatever entrapment here and go towards this love. What is uh, the Seven of Cups? Interesting. I don't know for some of you if there's uh, legal matters, uh, consequences, pros and cons. Someone um, is questioning if they're going to be well off by themselves because the page of cups i feel like it's part also of this judgment that someone has been waiting for or again an apology here or to express love to send a message a lot of dreaming here and being consumed in these feelings and trying to recognize um how to come out of these emotions that's how i feel like the seven of cups is just asking uh for a message or some type of form of communication here so can get out of that eighth house energy which feels again very intense all about merging in this um, and consumed by these feelings but that's what the best possible is like someone that is trying to understand when it comes to expressing love and opening up here uh, communicating there's a lot of excitement and a lot of um, feelings but i don't know if it's questioned here if it's real or not what is the nine of pentacles please what is the nine of pentacles okay i'm gonna get that Isn't it interesting? Nine and nine, part of the hermit. That's why I felt like someone here is on this solo pathway to recognizing fulfillment. So I feel like someone is recognizing what I want. That's what's coming in individually. There's been a lot of self-development, a lot of asking here. And it seems like, again, the nine of pentacles feels satisfied, especially by the surroundings, physically here, career-wise, uh, that's what's coming in. What is the Hierophant, please? What is the Hierophant? The Eight of Cups. It's like someone that is trying to uh, go through all those feelings and understand what do I need to leave behind. It's coming as the Emperor. So this is someone with strong convictions, someone that feels very responsible, someone that is dealing here with sobering up. It's like in the end, it's like, I need to be serious about this. I cannot just stay in this kind of energy here. And I feel like, again, because of the Nine of Pentacles energy that is coming in, this is re the realization of someone standing strong on their faith, on, on the home that they want to build and what they need to leave behind here emotionally. What is uh, the Three of Swords, please? What is the Three of Swords? Okay. Very Taurus is coming strong with you guys here. <clears throat> Someone feels left, left out of a good thing here, by the way. It's like heartbroken. Someone is heartbroken because they lost here the Empress. By the way, we have the Emperor and the Empress. 
So going back with the lovers, yes, this is really a strong connection. That's what he's telling you. Someone maybe wants a chance. They feel heartbroken, three and three, um, regarding this big love here. If you are the king of pentacles, you know who your person is here. And um, if this is the king of pentacles you're asking, they feel like they um, have to come here with a promise of commitment. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the Three of Swords is about someone that is going through a lot of realization here and painful situation, but in the end it's about this love, this unconditional love. My goodness. It's like, I don't know if there's a, a pact or an alliance or someone needs to wait here. Um, the fear is like, I don't have anything right now that I can act. The Three of Pentacles can be very executive. You can see that someone here has a plan, has that pentacle. So I don't know, the fears is uh, that someone feels like right now, I cannot do anything. I, I want a relationship. I want to maybe again, friends for some of you here or see, uh, see how this is going to take time. What is the hangman here, please? One more. Yep, it's like someone feels like they have to wait. The Six of Cups. Um, Guys, for some of you, it feels very familiar. Sun in Scorpio. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, um, the Lovers. Six is here, the Empress, the Two of Cups. You can see that this is about um, an intense connection. It's like someone is not sure here if they can bring you um, both together. Because there's a lot of silence. There's a lot of kind of retreat here. So what is the Ace of Pentacles, please? What is the Ace of Pentacles here as the best possible outcome? One more. <laughs> the fear with the hanging man. So this is the starting point that someone has been waiting. Like, again, it's in the phase um, of an opportunity, of a potential. How, what you do with it, again, it's up to you and this person, but whatever is the fear that they feel like, oh, they still have to wait, maybe they cannot do anything, is telling you that the opportunity is here and, and now. That's what's coming in. Something that has been invested for some time here, um, it's coming in, it's blossoming. All right, so what is the Two of Pentacles, please? What is the Two of Pentacles? One more. The wish fulfillment, look, this is a very beautiful reading and I feel like especially um, looking here that the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups is coming in, is about fulfillment emotionally here, physically, also when it comes to investment. For some of you here, in a connection. This is the beginning of something with longevity, with the Ace of Pentacles, not just in the realm of fantasy. Um, and it's coming because someone finally feels free to pursue this, knows exactly what they want. I'm feeling the Divine Masculine is at a place in his life that feels like this is what I want. That's one, that one cup here that I pray that, you know, I'm going to be with. I feel like that, that love, the Six of Cups. So yeah, there's a great potential for you guys this week to see where this connection is leading. I truly hope this resonates. Thank you, bye-bye.